Hey everybody, this is Intense Gamer, also known as Jeff here, and today I just wanted to make a quick little video on Fall Guys Season 5, and specifically one of the new maps, Lily Leapers. Now, I'm going to be showcasing my first impression strategy on how I got first place on this map, so if you want to go into these new maps completely blind, not knowing what to expect, uh, feel free to click off this video and go check out these new maps for yourself. So typically with any Fall Guys map, sometimes your spawn can affect how well or how poorly you perform, and you'll see right here that I spawn relatively in the front, but what I would say with this map specifically is that you want to take the shortest path you possibly can, and you'll see coming up in the second section that I actually end up skipping a couple of rows of lily pad bouncers, and, and I think the way that the bouncers work is that when you jump, dive, and then bounce, it automatically resets your orientation, so you can dive, bounce, and then immediately dive again. And that's what you want to do to be able to get the distance that you need to reach the next bouncer and be able to propel yourself even further because you do need to get momentum in order to get to the next bouncer. Now with this section right here, you want to be careful with the moving ones that you don't accidentally bonk your head. Now at the end here, the middle path is a lot faster but it's a lot more dangerous. You might accidentally fall off. I decided to take the safer route here. And luckily this golden witch actually stops to bounce on the middle lily pad bouncer, which bought me enough time to get to the finish. So yeah, that's just my first impression strategy on how I got first place on lily leapers. Uh, there's still probably quite a lot to learn about these new season 5 maps, so this strategy may be subject to change, but hopefully this helps you out with qualifying on this map specifically. And yeah, hope you all have a great day.